So um, pertinent to our conversation today, I have participated for many years in a multidisciplinary team that cares for patients with Duchenne muscular dystrophy and other neuromuscular diseases. And actually gastrointestinal problems are very common with Duchenne muscular dystrophy in particular. And so it's important to have a gastroenterologist be involved in the life of those boys, and especially as they get older, um, as they advance in age, late teenage years, and then young adulthood, those GI tract problems become more pronounced. But clearly what we, um, what we deal with right now from a GI standpoint are the manifestations of a progressive muscular disease. And so things like the inability to swallow successfully, um, challenges with getting enough calories into the body late in life, uh, problems with bowel function, all of those are problems that are secondary to the primary problem of a muscle disease. So if you can reverse that, then you can eff effectively, we hope, um, eliminate and avoid any of the types of problems that I care for on a regular basis. So as we're moving into, I think, more um, not just kind of disease modifying, but potentially disease curing therapies, gene transfer therapy, et cetera, we're looking forward to a future where maybe we are not dealing with advanced GI problems, we're dealing with very mild problems that if, if they exist at all. I think certainly, uh, you know, we, we've, we've kind of gotten, uh, I, I think, progressed our supportive therapies um, probably as much as we can. And, and I think that, you know, there's still, uh, I think, a lot to learn about maximizing quality of life in that second and third decade, especially for those young men as they um, progressively lose function. Um, and so I think that that's still an area of interest and focus is how we maximize quality of life. Uh, but ultimately preventing the onset of that of those milestones of loss of ambulation and loss of function, that's, that's I think, where, where the focus should be, yeah. I, I, don't, I just want folks to never forget that, you know, the digestive uh, system is a really important part of the quality of life of these young men, both making sure they have adequate nutrition and making sure that their bowel function is, is optimized, especially early in life. Chronic constipation is a really significant problem in boys and young men with Duchenne. It can get really serious, especially later in life, and be a negative contributor to, to quality of life. And so if managed well um, and aggressively early in life, it can prevent some of the complications that we have to care for in our older adolescents and, and 20 year olds. So sometimes something that folks don't want to talk about a lot, but it is a very common problem, probably affects more than 50% of all patients with Duchenne. And so it should be part of the conversation that you're having with your patients every time they come in to see you.